Hi guys, out on a nature walk today with my dog Lil. Lily, come here. We're at the Metro Park. So I'm gonna go by and identify different species of plant or animal as I come across it. And then I'll try to take a picture and see if you guys can remember what I taught ya. Miss you all, bye. All right, so one of the first things that I notice when I walk in are all of these short shrub-like trees. They're everywhere. Anyway, they're really cool. You can always identify them by the red tips. If you look, all of them have this bright red tip on the end. This is called dogwood. Actually, more specifically, red osier dogwood. And like I said, they're unmistakable for this reason. The ends are red. They're little scruffy trees, almost more like bushes, but they're still trees. These are dogwood trees, red osier dogwood. Check it out. This is actually what we call a hardwood forest because all of the trees are hardwood. This is a beautiful oak tree. It's magnificent. Look how tall. It's amazing. Oh, it's got to be at least 100 years old. These are burls on the side, usually started by insect uh, infestation. A lot of moths, larvae, um, eggs, and then it kind of just corrects itself and grows over. Come on. All right, and notice you got moss. We talked about moss being a great place for microscopic organisms. Yeah, get your face out of the way. Moss always grows on the north side of the tree. So if you're lost, you look for where all the moss is growing and you'll know that that is north. And here you have a type of fungus growing all along the outside of this tree. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? They almost look like oysters. I'm gonna look those up. I'm not sure what those are called. Lily. Hi, baby girl. All right, so we're walking down the trail. Now, these are interesting. These are called teasel. Ooh, sorry about that. Teasel, very, very pokey. Oh, nice nail polish. Sorry, guys. I, I ran out. I haven't been to the store of nail polish remover. Anyway, these are teasel. They become these beautiful purple flowers in the summertime. And there's a couple of them. You can always tell teasel because they look like these bristles and they're very, very thorny. All these are super, super sharp. Um, but these are great food sources for birds. Um, and uh, like I said, they're this beautiful purple thing in the spring. Right now, these are last year's teasel. Remember that. Now here is a large grove of enormous, tall, long trees. These are actually called Eastern Cottonwood, um, but a lot of people call them poplar. You can see the bark is unique. I'll show you, it's got these real deep grooves. And it actually looks like it's got a vine growing all along it, which is really kind of cool. It's a symbiotic relationship. Um, I don't really think it's hurting the tree. It's probably more like commensalism. But, and I would bet that that's poison ivy. And it, look how big it is growing up the side of that eastern cottonwood. Whoa, it's huge. All right, and Lily's got me wrapped up. Lil, get over here. Listen to the birds. Oh my God, there's so many. I don't know if you can hear them. Seagull. And then also looks like we got some hawks over there. That looks like a great blue heron coming in. Way up there, I don't know if you can see it. Big bird. Whoa. Cool. All right, back at it. 
oh, Lily is standing next to, hi, sweet pea. There's my girl. She's standing next to, this is called blackberry. Yes, this is where blackberries grow. It's blackberry bramble. And you can always identify it because it has this bloom. Ow! And they're pokey. <laughs> but there's this powdery substance that's called bloom. And they're all over the blackberry bramble. And blackberry usually grow around and they kind of curve down like this one here. That's normal. So if you see a small little bush and then it curves over, those are all blackberry. And these will all produce seeds. Um, and of course the fruits um, for birds, they love them. And then of course birds transfer them all over the place. So you'll see them growing all over the place because of dispersal by birds. All right. Let's go. We're getting out of all of the dogwood, um, which is an immature part. This used to be all field 30, 40, 50 years ago before that was farmland. All right, so now we're going into hardwoods. Okay, this is a mature, what we would call a climax community because the trees are full grown. All right, they're large and in charge. So we call them mature or climax community and right away you see a beautiful oak tree this is an oak I like how that kind of hangs over but you see it's got all those burls on it and that's usually a place where an insect may have started to grow it looks like it has all these scars on it it's really cool these are old trees in here good 70, 60, 50, and then I'm sure there's some that are probably well over 100 years in this Climax community. So notice how different it is from over there, where it's still young and immature, and then boom, we're into here. We don't have all that, um, we don't have all those dogwoods everywhere. This is mature. So it's got a lot more open space. Why do you think it has all that open space? What's your thought process? What do you think? Why isn't there all that mother trees everywhere in this Climax community? It's a little more spacious. Now take a look at this tree. This one has really unique bark. And it's a big one too. This looks like a shag bark hickory tree to me just because of its obviously shaggy bark but that's always something that you can tell to identify what species it is I also want you to notice all the lichen we know that those are pioneer species sorry my hands are shaky um, and remember that's a symbiotic relationship between a lichen and um, a moss and an algae, I mean. So symbiotic relationship, moss, algae equals lichen. And lichen are pioneer species. They're some of the first species to move in to an area. And then on this side, you'll notice that you have your moss. Yep. And you can always tell direction. If you see a lot of moss on one side of a tree, that's generally north. So if you get lost, in the woods and you look for the mossy side of the tree you know that that direction is north 